On the shores of America, the ocean waves are no longer the only threat. A silent invader is rising, small yet relentless, spreading without sound or warning. Tens of thousands of green crabs, each barely the size of a hand, swarm across the sand and vanish into the surf. They transform the coast into a hidden battlefield where balance crumbles in silence. Every year, the American economy loses up to $22.6 million. Farms are wiped out, harvests stolen, and coastal livelihoods erased almost overnight. How can such a fragile creature shake an entire nation? This is the story of green crab invasion. This $22.6 million species is attacking America's coasts. Subscribe to Now Discover to uncover the ocean's most controversial truths. Its name sounds harmless, Carcinus manus. Known as the European green crab, it wears a dark green shell and sharp claws. Small enough to fit in a human hand, yet inside that fragile armor lies the engine of an unstoppable invader. This crab thrives where others perish. Saltwater or brackish, freezing or scorching, it adapts without hesitation. A single female can unleash 180,000 eggs in a single season, multiplying into an army within a handful of years. Born in the cold waters of Northern Europe and the Mediterranean, it never belonged to America. But global trade carried it across the ocean, hidden in the ballast water of merchant ships. In 1817, the first record appeared in Massachusetts, a warning no one recognized. From that moment, the expansion never stopped. What began in a few quiet bays spread southward to Florida, then leapt across to the Pacific, conquering California, Oregon, and even Alaska. The tide of shells marched farther than anyone could control. With no natural predators in these new waters and a warming climate creating a perfect nursery, every port became a potential beachhead. Each ship, each drop of ballast, opened a new frontier for invasion. From a stranger in European seas to one of the most successful invaders on Earth, the green crab carved its name into America's coasts, and in its wake, an ecological and economic disaster was only beginning to unfold. Every year, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates losses of $22.6 million. It is not just an abstract figure, it is the collapse of shellfish farms, the ruin of clam and mussel harvests, the destruction of livelihoods overnight. In the silence of dawn, fishers walk out to empty traps and shredded nets. The ocean that once fed entire communities now delivers only ruin, 
while supply chains, fracture, and coastal economies buckle under the weight of an unseen enemy. The domino effect spreads far beyond the shoreline. Production drops, seafood prices surge, and international contracts falter. What seems like the rampage of a crab becomes a storm of economic chaos, rippling across markets and oceans alike. Yet the financial toll is only half the story. Ecologists describe the green crab as a seafloor shredder, consuming everything in its path. Fish eggs, juvenile lobsters, vulnerable shellfish. Nothing in its reach is safe. Even the underwater meadows of eelgrass, nurseries for young fish, are torn apart. With every blade devoured, biodiversity weakens and the coastal food web unravels. Native crabs are pushed to the margins, their strength eroded by relentless competition. Worse still, hidden dangers multiply. Parasites and diseases once confined to farms now spill into open seas. And the most terrifying threat is genetic interbreeding that dilutes the resilience of wild species, erasing thousands of years of evolution in a single generation. This devastation cannot be measured only in dollars. It is the unraveling of ecosystems built across millennia an ancient balance collapsing under the claws of an invader too small to fear, yet too powerful to stop. Against the tide of invaders, humanity strikes back. Steel traps are lowered into the sea day after day, night after night. Yet for every net emptied, new waves of green crabs crawl in, filling the ocean as if no effort had been made at all. Science enters the battlefield. Researchers deploy pheromones to disrupt reproduction sonar and underwater drones to hunt hidden colonies, and artificial intelligence to predict the next line of invasion. It is not just fishing anymore, it is a technological war beneath the waves. Along the coasts, entire communities rally to the fight. Volunteers, fishers, and students join together in campaigns called Eat the Invaders, the goal is simple but bold. Turn the enemy into food and consume what threatens to consume them. In restaurants and kitchens, chefs transform the pest into delicacies. Green crab broth, risotto, and soups find their way to the table. Some call it the flavor you must eat to save the sea a bitter irony wrapped in salt and spice. Others see opportunity beyond cuisine. Scientists use the green crab as a living laboratory, studying its unmatched resilience and adaptation. Entrepreneurs imagine entire industries built on its protein converting destruction into a resource for the future. Yet here lies the paradox. If humanity embraces the green crab as an asset, 
Does it not anchor the invader more deeply into the economy? In saving today, do we risk binding ourselves to the very species that threatens tomorrow?